It's your boy Crypto Blood, and I want to do a follow-up video to Essentia. I did this video maybe about a week and a half ago, but now I want to show you and walk you through the master node setup because this is where you really get a lot of the yield, most bang for your buck. Yes, they have over like 160% APY right now. Of course, that's going to come down as more people add master nodes. However, get it while the getting is good. You could definitely take advantage of those high APYs while they're here. Visit Essentia.one for more details, but I'm gonna walk you guys through that today. And as I mentioned just a second ago, they have one of the highest APYs when it comes to running a master node in the industry. This was put out maybe about a month ago, 164% APY. Look at how it's towering over all of these other blockchains of course this will come down we all know that i'm not selling you a pipe dream here but get it while the getting is good because you can set up a master node at this price currently at today's price of 0 0.004 cents roughly about 400 bucks you can create a master node typically these types of things cost you thousands of bucks but you can set it up for only about 400 bucks right now at 0 0.004 per token and when i first brought this project to your attention on my channel i think we were trading at 0 0.0037 roughly so we're in a trading range a very tight trading range but that means that's not a bad thing that's a good thing upside potential is surely there you know i always look for low cap tokens that have a great structure project structure not just a shit coin it's got to have some potential there but that's where the upside is you can see a 10 50 even 100x in this token and the market cap will still be not even noticeable so you want to look at those projects that are under the radar and this one surely still is and just in case you did miss my first video what is essential well essential is a master node power blockchain that enables interoperability and cross-chain transactions it's an all-in-one platform that manages all things crypto so they have a wallet guys where you can swap trade and add liquidity to i think over 700 coins but that's not what we're going to be talking about today today is strictly going to be regarding their master node and how you can set one up and they have integrated an l2 transaction layer using zk snarks sdk and stark wave and they designed essentia simple secure and most importantly with decentralization in mind so i'm going to walk you through how to set it up get familiar with how this all works download the software so you can use that as your master node setup but in addition to that i suggest that you look into some vps's which are virtual private servers for your master node eventually you want to you know download the software on that server and have that master node run on the vps because that's going to be the best environment for you to have a successful master node running and why you want a vps is because it's going to run 24 7 right and you're going to have a static ip address in addition to that you're going to have a stable connection no interruptions from your kids playing call of duty and shooting up some bandits or whatever no you won't have to worry about that because your master node will be running on a virtual private server or somewhere I suggest looking at AWS, even better, DigitalOcean. I think you can get a VPS over there for about six bucks. That's all you'll need, six bucks a month. You're going to make way more than that running this master node. So let's get back into this, though, because as I stated before, this is where the bread and butter is, 164% APY, highest in the industry right now for a Mercury node, and it only takes 100,000 ESS tokens. That's about 400 bucks, as I mentioned earlier. So that's why I wanted to highlight running a master node. It'll be well worth your money at current rates uh, at 0 0.004 cents. That's not much. Most of the time you got master nodes that take thousands and thousands of dollars to run. And I think this token will eventually start rising. We've been in the channel for quite some time. And I think the last video I did, the price of this token was around where it is today. And so go to Essentia.one to download the app. Scroll down just a little bit below the uh, screenshot you see on the home page, and you'll see that blue button to say get Essentia app. And it's going to take you all the way down to where you need to download it. So Mac, Windows, Linux, you pick the flavor, your choice. But once you download it and install it, you're going to see a window that looks something like this. And from this window, you're going to want to create a new account. Once you create the new account, it's going to ask for an account name. Put your password in twice, create it, boom. Now you're in the wallet. And from here, you can import a new wallet or you can use the one they create for you on Ethereum. I would just suggest it. Just use the Ethereum wallet they give you. It's a new wallet. It's clean. 
and you can fund your Ethereum wallet with your ESS token. What you need to understand with this setup, you have two different Essentia tokens. You have the ESSX, which represents their own token for their blockchain and then you have the ESS token and so what you want to do there's an arrow right next to the plus or add button right under your ethereum wallet click that it's going to show and reveal the ERC20 Essentia token and honestly what you want to do here is load up Uniswap I'll leave a link in the description below but you want to load up Uniswap and go to this link you see here and what you want to do is say trade in the top right hand corner it's going to take you over to that particular token it's going to give you a warning you're going to click i understand hit import and now you what you can do is take your ethereum and i'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can access exactly where the token uh, is on uniswap once you do that you'll see a swap from ess to ethereum you just want to swap that around click that arrow button there swap it around and if you have ethereum in your account now you can use ethereum select however much you want hit swap once you hit swap it's going to take the ethereum you have and purchase ess tokens which is the erc20 version of it you're going to hit confirm once you do that and the ess tokens will be swapped and you'll have those in your account from there you want to move that token those ess tokens from uniswap over to your desktop wallet and what you want to do is use the address in the desktop wallet click the ess token expand that drop down again right next to the add button you'll see that click it and then you want to say receive that's going to give you the address you need to copy into uniswap to send the tokens over to your essentia desktop wallet and i'm going to give you a very quick tip on how to add the essentia token to your metamask wallet really easily all you have to do is go to coingecko.com type in ess in the top there and it's going to show you essentia you click that and then there's a button there's a metamask icon that you click that's going to add the token the custom token to your metamask wallet very quickly so that when you're ready to send your tokens from uniswap you'll be able to do it right from the drop down in your metamask wallet on your browser so you click that metamask it adds it there to the bottom it'll give you a prompt as you see here you'll say add token boom once you add the token now if you click on your metamask plugin and you go over to assets you'll see the ess token in there if i scroll down you'll see it there see that so all you're going to do is click that and click send once your tokens have been swap from ethereum to ess tokens you'll see how many ess tokens you have in there you click send and again you're going to take that address that is generated when clicking the receive button you hit that copy like that and all you do is copy that in here and you can drop that and that will send off your tokens to your desktop wallet from there you can now do the token swap for ESSX tokens which is their native token on their blockchain and from there is how you set up your master node you'll want to have at least a hundred thousand ESSX tokens there to deploy your master node but don't forget you have to have ESSX tokens not the ESS token that's an ERC20 Ethereum token. You got to do the swap, but you got to first buy your tokens on Uniswap, send them over to your desktop, and then do the swap in the desktop wallet to start your master node setup. And once you do the swap, you'll have those tokens ready for your master node. And then from there, you click the master node button there and deploy the master node it's that easy few clicks once you get your tokens over there into the desktop that's the most convoluted part of it but once you do that you can deploy your master node and start seeing the profits come in 168 percent right now take advantage of it while you can and that is going to set you up for a nice daily cash flow for you and if you keep these tokens it's only going to compound if you keep the tokens that you're generating from running the node because once the token blows up and it goes 10x, whatever you've earned is like earning 10x that. Keep that in mind. It's a longer play. There's nothing you're going to see benefit from right away. But you'll look up five months, six months from now and have a nice bag from investing $400 and some high-ass Ethereum gas prices, I know. But that investment could potentially turn out to be 
a blessing in disguise so I'll, again i'll leave the links to all of that in the description below make sure you guys check it out essentia dot one for more details make sure you guys like share and subscribe i'm out of here holla